That's all because of things that you've done. Even though you try your best and you want her back, she says she's never right. But you still got to keep on trying. Just like yes. you. Back to you, girl. Oh. Send the heart, them. Send the heart, the heart man. man. Push the love button. We going live tonight, you know. All the lovely women, all the all the, all the black women, the African the African sisters, the Hebrew Israelite sisters, give thanks and praise to the Most High. We love you. Yes. Oh, stop accusing us of doing the wrong thing. Yes, love. Send the love button. Send the love yes, button. Send the love button. Yes, I. Yes, I. <laughs> Send the love button. Send the love button. Send the love button. Send the love button. Back in your heart. Yes, I'm Wow. Yes, sir. All right. Black woman and a black man is a family, you know. Don't let the fam don't let the black family disintegrate. You know what I mean? Get to build our family structure. You know what I mean, don't forget that the black family is very significant. We need some more fathers around the area. You know what I mean? Fathers running away. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta have the black family. It's very significant. So keep the kingdom black family alive. All right? All right, brothers, don't forget. Always be a father to your children. It's very significant, you know? All right? Let's have love. All right? Perpet perpetuation from slavery day. We are box. Running from plantation to plantation, breeding our women and leaving them alone. All right? You have to learn that process. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to get older and expect the same children when they get a little bit adult to take care of us. It's important. All right, we'll turn your back on them now. Wonderful, blessed love. Now tonight we go on, we have a program on. We're still in New York, it's kind of cold, so we're inside. Um, we're leaving again Sunday, you know, because we had our stuff to do. We see our line, our line here, um, the line. The line of our products right here. So I had to come back and fix that up. Have my line of products, thank God for that. We just got everything organized with the labels and everything. That's why I was still in America, New York, in this cold weather, because I have to sacrifice. So we have all these different, 27 different products, formulas for different things. All right, but we want to get to that because we want to talk about our women. Women with breast cancer, ovarian cysts, PCOS, endometriosis, amenorrhea, period pain. Um, um, amenorrhea, no period. This menorrhea, period pain, and menorrhea, there's too much bleeding. So a lot of women have that kind of problem uh, you know, today, especially black women. You go back into Japan, you go back into China, you hardly hear women suffering from breast cancer. Uterine cancer. Hardly. You know what I'm saying? And that's because they eat a lot of soy. What kind of soy? Misco tempeh. Not tofu. And I want to make sure, I want to educate women again. There is two chemicals in the soy, in the fermented soy, that help to prevent your tumors from feeding. You understand? Call it genistin and diastin, I believe. Now the, the difference in the, the Chinese woman and the in the and the Western woman is the Chinese women only use 10, 10 milligrams of these two compounds that is found in these soy, fermentation soy that is, that helps to prevent angiogenesis. So at 10 milligrams or 20 milligrams per day, that woman has protection to the breast. And if you do have breast cancer, they act as what we call, uh, they, they prevent your cells from feeding so they don't grow. But the women in the, in the West eat about 80% of those, I mean the bad soy. And that way, her breast cancer increases. Okay, don't forget, the studies are there. All right? So we're going to teach the woman tonight now how to prevent breast cancer because a 15-year-old was well, just diagnosed with breast cancer too, 15 years old. 22-year-old have it, a 25-year-old have it, a 27-year-old have it, 
a 29-year-old habit, a 32-year-old habit, and a 35-year-old habit. Stage 2, stage 3, stage 4, going into some of the bones too. So it's always good to talk about prevention. We're going to teach you how to prevent it tonight because we're going to phase, right? Now, let's talk first about all your lipstick, all your nail polish. You're all dyed in all your hair. You understand? You do that? Watch out, you know. And you're all using the wrong lipstick. Or you're sucking it in. These chemicals, long term, especially if you have breast cancer, is going to damage your cells eventually because they're full of lead. So always look to find the plant-based lipsticks and the plant-based nail polish and the plant-based hair dye. Because hair dye, long term, contribute to you women getting breast cancer. Factual, do the research. Okay? So I don't teach you all that. If you have breast cancer and you're putting on all your lipstick on your, on your, on your lips here every day, and you're putting all your eyelashes on your eyelashes every day, and all them long eyelashes and all them nail polish, and you're dying your hair, your cancer won't spread and come back. It's common sense. So you have to be pesticide free. You understand? All right, so let's teach you now. All right. So we're doing phase one, phase two, and phase three. A program for women only, not for men, only for women. Because we are losing our women to breast cancer. We are losing our women to cervical cancer. We are losing our women to uterine fibroids. We are losing our young sisters to PCOS and ovarian cysts. Thyroid troubles, and they all have to deal with the woman's endocrine and reproductive system. All right, because you were not taught how to take care of the reproductive system properly. You understand? So you're getting all these growths. You see what I'm saying? Women in the scriptures was barren too. There are a lot of them who could have children. Lots of women in these times are also infertile. We're going to teach you how to be fertile too. You know what I'm saying? If the man's sperm count is good. But we have to learn how to teach our women to take care of the reproductive system because you are the mother of the mothers of civilization. You are the cradle of civilization. You women are. You know what I mean? Should be respected now. You are the mother of civilization. Should be respected. And it's imperative that you learn how to keep your uterus. Don't lose it. But when you reach the age of 35 and 40 and you have growth, the, the doctor says to you, you know what? You won't have any more children? You said, no, okay, but you're going to take your uterus out. You don't need it. The Most High put your uterus in there for a purpose. He never meant for you to lose your uterus to nothing. Because you were not taught how to take care of the reproductive system. And that's the reason why you are getting cancer regularly. That's the reason why you're coming down with fibroids. And that's the reason why you're getting cervical and ovarian problems. That's the reason why you're having amenorrhea, no period. Menorrhagia, period, period uh, 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 too much bleeding. And this menorrhea, period, period. Because you were not taught. Let's teach you tonight how to do that, to keep it healthy. So we have a program that we're going to put women on. The 4th of January, 2020, God gave us health and strength and life. Women, start on these programs. And every three to six months... If you do these programs properly, you will never ever see a doctor's office. You will never run to a what? A gynecologist? You will see them easy. I'm not saying don't go to them now, but you won't see them easily because you would be preventing growths in your reproductive system. Phase one. Let's go to phase one. In phase one, women have a lot of candida. In phase one, women have lots of candida, chlamydia, yeast infections regularly. Am I lying, woman? The average woman go to a gynecologist is either they have chlamydia, candida, yeast infections, or they have some kind of trouble in the period because the gynecologist office in Grenada full of them, full of women. So the phase, the first phase of the program, we're gonna put you women on. Is to remove yeast, candida, from your body. That's the key. Yeast, 
and candida from the body. So phase one is your yeast and candida cleanse to keep the uterus healthy. Because once you start having troubles in the reproductive system, yeah, go right over here. Let's go right here. Shoot right there for me, brother. Yeast starts here. Parasites start here. Because lots of women is contemplated. They don't go to the bathroom on a regular basis. So once you have a yeast building up in here because of bad bacteria, you're going to have all the yeast coming back into your portal vessel, hepatic flexure in the portal vessel, and get it into your bloodstream. And because you have weak immunity, your immune system is not working properly, the yeast end up in your vagina. You get these infections. It starts right there. So it starts. Everything starts in the earth. Don't forget to tell you all I said. Repeat. Everything starts in the earth system. Repeat what I said. Everything starts in the earth system. Right? So, we're going to do a yeast and parasite cleanse. So we're cleaning all this up here first. We're going to keep them clean. See? All right, wonderful. And the first phase. So the first phase is a yeast and a candida cleanse and liver and bowel elimination. That's the first thing. Come here. Women, have this in your house. Always have it. Women, always have this in your house. Always have it. Women, always have this in your house. Always have it. Don't get rid of it. That's what the older women used to use to keep the reproductive system healthy too. The older ladies. They were hopeless in their own right. Women, get one of this. Order for it on the internet. Order for this. It's what you call a combination kit. It helps to keep the vagina well too. Alright, you could wash the vagina. You could do what we call vaginal steaming. We're going to teach you how to do that tonight too. Get this. Important. See? That's for the vagina. See it here? It's for the vagina. So not, not to push it up, but to wash it out. You see? This one is for the anus. To do a, 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 a bubble cleanse. But this one here is for the vagina. Not to push the water up, but to spray in front of the vagina to keep the pH in the vagina healthy, but also preventing microbes from invading your vagina. Follow me. So the first, phase one. We're going to put the woman on a yeast and a candida cleanse, working on your liver and helping the liver and the bowel to eliminate toxins. An excessive amount of estrogen, which is causing you to have or get breast cancer. Which is causing you to get breast cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, fibrocystic breast disease, PCOS, ovarian cysts, uterine fibroids, endometriosis. And eventually when you get older, osteoporosis too. So the first phase, you're going to have it all linked up so you could follow the program. Alright? Starting on the 1st of January. The phase one program is going to be a diet of rainbow colors. Rainbow colors. The diet of the phase one is going to be a rainbow diet. Rainbow colors. Rainbow colors. That's important because they're full of chemicals and they prevent cancer. You understand? They prevent your estrogen, your man-made estrogen from invading your receptors. That's the first phase. Over here. Rainbow colors. To do what? To alkaline your blood and to remove excessive amount of man-made estrogen. That's phase one. Phase one is to put you women on a rainbow diet to alkaline the blood and to remove excessive amount of man-made estrogen from your diet, via your liver, and your bowels, elimination. You can never have recycling estrogen flowing back into your body. Otherwise, you as a woman are going to be in troubles long term. Because the food you're eating today is full of chemicals, full of hormones, full of pesticides, full of herbicides. 
And all kind of stuff in the food. Plastic bad. Cheese bad. Eggs bad. Milk bad. Chicken bad. And plus, you're not going to the bathroom on a regular basis, so you are retaining estrogen. And once the estrogen comes back into your portal vessel, it goes in and it steals the combination lock to your natural estrogen that God put into your body. And once that happens, because it is not natural, it starts to stimulate your breast tissue at an alarming rate, giving you breast cancer, if it is not from the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene. But we're going to teach you now, tonight, how to prevent the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene from becoming a junk BRCA1 and junk BRCA2 gene to give you breast cancer also. By the rainbow diet. So the phase one program, woman going to start, is to get rid of yeast, candida, and also have your liver working well to remove toxins from the liver and the bowel. We call it liver and bowel elimination. For the first seven days, when you're on the phase one program, you would not be using anything that have any sugar. No fruits. No white sugar. No brown sugar. Nothing, no honey. Nothing with sugar. For the first seven days. Because you are going to remove yeast and candida from your body. And we know for a fact that yeast and candida love sugars. So for the first seven days of your program, woman. You are going to go on a yeast and candida cleanse, removing everything white, white bread, white salt, white sugar, white rice from your diet, including fruits, for seven days. We're going we're to have it put in order for you to follow. And that, in turn, will help you to kill yeast and kill candida, which is causing you to have long-term more troubles in your reproductive system and also causing you to have cancer long term. So we're going to help the liver and the bowels to eliminate toxins. And after we do the yeast and the parasite cleanse and the candida cleanse and the liver and bowel elimination, we are going to keep this guy here. We're going to keep this guy healthy. We're going to fill him of the good bacteria to protect you from yeast and parasites and candida. We're going to keep him clean. So we're going to use foods that is going to help to move from your stomach into your small intestines and into the large bowel we call the eliminator at the same time. We're not going to cause a traffic jam in here, from here, here, and in here. We're going to move the food as quick as we can. Juices, rainbow colors. Forget now. Phase one. In the phase one program, we're going to show you what the rainbow diet is like and give you the foods that you can eat that would not cause more candida, but would help you to fight and remove excessive amount of man-made estrogen from your body as a woman. Because we know we're going to alkaline your blood. We're going to alkaline the, we're going to alkaline the arterial blood. We're going to alkaline the venous blood. And we're going to alkaline the capillary blood. And we're going to put your pH back into your intestines at the normal rate, which is 7.8 to 8.0 in your large bowel. Alkaline. So, phase one, after the cleanse, that of the rainbow colors, to alkaline the blood and remove excessive amount of man-made estrogen from your body as a woman. You can never get cancer, trust me. Phase two, after phase one, phase one is going to be for seven days. On the seventh day, you are going to know Going to phase two, using plants to normalize you, the woman's endocrine, endocrine, 
and reproductive ecology preventing growth. On the 7th to the 10th day of phase 1, we go to phase 2. And we are going to use plants to normalize you, the woman's endocrine system and your reproductive ecology, preventing growths in your uterus, preventing growths in your ovaries, preventing growth in your suffix, and preventing you from getting fibrocystic breast disease. Phase two, after phase one. Because remember now, in phase one, we are removing excessive amount of estrogen via your liver and your bowels. And we are now alkaline in the blood. Once the blood becomes alkaline and the ecology of the, of, the, of the digestive system is in balance, we are now going to introduce plants in the phase two phase to normalize you, the woman's endocrine and reproductive ecology preventing growths in your body. Because no, you don't have recycling estrogen coming back into receptors because you remove them out in phase one. Don't forget now, we're going to put everything on a, on a program so you can follow. So, we are using plants to normalize a woman's endocrine and reproductive ecology, preventing growths in the woman's uterus, ovaries, cervix, breast, and thyroid gland. So you don't get what we call nodules in your thyroid. Because lots of women is losing a thyroid to nodules and thyroid cancer. Because your all endocrine system is in balance. Your pituitary gland is in balance. Your liver is in balance. You understand? You are retaining excessive amount of toxins in the blood. And causing your liver to malfunction. And causing your kidney to also malfunction. And because your kidney, when, cannot, when it cannot remove the excessive amount of acid and toxins, it sends it back straight into your tissues or into your lymphatic system. And you get growth in your breast. They call it fibrocystic breast disease. They don't know how to fix it though. So, we are going to put the woman on this program to normalize the woman's ecology of the reproductive system and the endocrine glands, making them become in balance. Balance them back. And once they are balanced back, we are going to help to normalize the suffix and the thyroid gland. Because this gland is very significant in a woman's period, menstrual, menstrual, men, menstrual cycle. The thyroid gland is. It's a Thomas tap. So when they pull it out, they put you on thyroxine, level, level thyroxine for the rest of your life. Because they don't know how to fix this gland. But this gland depends on the pituitary in your brain. So in order for you to fix this gland, you must go back to the digestive system and you must go back to the pituitary gland and you must go back to your adrenals and you must work on your power thyroid because they work together. They're all part of the endocrine system. So we're going to balance back the whole endocrine system of the woman's ecology and the woman's reproductive system preventing the woman from having troubles in the uterus, in the ovaries, in the cervix, in the breast and in the thyroid gland. That's phase two. We are also going to help the woman for the time she's on the program to drain her lymphatic system and prevent fibrocystic breast disease which a lot of young women seem to have today. Leading to lumpectomy of the breast or scarring of the breast. Because you all don't know how to drain your lymphatic system. See? So the phase one says phase two program after phase one is to normalize the woman's reproductive and endocrine ecology and in turn balance the back of pH and also in turn helping the woman's uterus, breast suffix, thyroid gland and in turn draining the woman's lymphatic system Preventing fibrocystic breast disease in the woman. 
That's phase two. Phase three. After the program is done with the herbs, we're going to try to do the herb now. We are going to create a program for women only to eat the foods that is estrogen free and know what they are and avoid the wrong fats helping the woman to what? Helping the woman to do what? To prevent breast, uterine, ovarian, cervical cancer and in turn preventing PCOS, uterine fibroids, endometriosis uh, and period pain. Ovarian cysts, thyroid imbalances, infertility, and period pain. We are going to create a program in phase three for women to eat the foods that is free from estrogen and pesticide and herbicide, teaching, these, teaching the women these things and avoiding the wrong fats because the wrong fats cause oxidation and oxidation in turn creates free radicals. And once free radicals is in the body, it seems to damage the woman's DNA. So all the oils that the woman use, like uh, 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 nuts oil, some of the nuts are bad for you. Some of the, some of the, 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 um, the vegetable oil are bad for you. Some of the corn oil are bad for you because they oxidize fast. So we're going to teach you women what oil you can use to prevent oxidation and in turn prevent free radicals from damaging your DNA, causing you to get cancer and in turn helping you to prevent breast, uterine, ovarian and cervical cancer and in turn preventing our younger women from coming down with PCOS, uterine fibroids, endometriosis, ovarian cysts, thyroid imbalances, infertility and period pain which they call dysmenorrhea in the medical system follow how we gonna work let's go over here raspberry leaves all women should have this herb in the house all women should have red Raspberry leaves in the house, especially if you're pregnant. It tonifies the uterus. It strengthens the uterus. It prevents uterine prolapse. You understand? It also makes women have a good equilibrium. Red raspberry leaves. But for the program, when you're on the program for the, 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 the extent of time, you are going to do vagina steaming. And you are going to use this herb right here. It's called red raspberry leaf. You're going to boil. You're going to teach you how to do it. You're going to put everything on the program. You're going to teach you to do, to, to do this program. You're going to boil the plants. And we are going to show you how to steam the vagina. Vagina steaming to move growths from the uterus with red raspberry leaves. Hmm? And tea tree oil. You're going to put everything down in black and white so you women can follow because you all are dying from breast cancer. You all are dying from uterine cancer. You all are dying from cervical and ovarian cancer. You all are having too much growth in your reproductive system. You all are suffering from no period for months and months. And lots of women are suffering from endometriosis, period pain too. This menorrhea because you are in balance. Your ecology of the endocrine system is in balance. And your whole digestive system is messed up too. We're going to try to fix that now. This her. I want you to mark them down for me. Woman. This herb is called Vitex. V I T E X. Or chaste tree. C H A S T R W E. This herb is very significant in the woman's endocrine system called the pituitary gland. Because what does herb do? Remember that the pituitary gland in your brain have to receive a signal 
from the hypothalamus gland, which is the master gland. If the pituitary do not receive a signal from the hypothalamus, and no endocrinologist could doubt that either, your pituitary can never ever normalize you, the woman's luteinizing hormone, and you, the woman's follicle stimulating hormone. If your pituitary gland cannot normalize LH and FSH, you, the woman, will start to suffer from estrogen dominance. Plus, you are eating the food that's full of estrogen and full of pesticides. You don't clean nothing. So automatically, your estrogen level goes so high and your progesterone level goes so low because this one down here is your protector from this guy up here. That's why God put them in balance. You understand? You must have a normal balance of estrogen and progesterone in order for you to prevent cancer. Thyroid troubles. You follow? PCOS. Ovarian cysts. Ovarian fibro. Ovarian uh, 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 um, cancer. And uterine fibroids. Now this herb. It goes in. To your pituitary and it helps your pituitary gland to normalize both your LH and your FSH and once your LH and your FSH is in balance now your estrogen and your progesterone as a woman is in balance so nothing can grow in your uterus and nothing can grow in your ovaries and nothing can grow in your breasts because now they imbalance. So this is what this does. Mark it on C H A S T E T R W A. Shepherd's purse. Look it up. The old electrics in herbal medicine use this plant for uterine fibroids, but they use this plant also in case women is having excessive amount of bleeding called menorrhagia in a medical term. To stop or slow the bleeding down. Mix with another herb called yarrow, which is an astringent plant. So these herbs mix together with this herb and this herb together with other plants you're going to mention. They will stop any form of bleeding in a woman's reproductive system while in turn tonifying the woman's endometrium and strengthening the woman's endometrium or uterus so that the woman's uterus can never have growths together. They bat together. They, they're the boss together for you, the woman. This one here. This one right here. Another boss again. This one right here. See me? You can put me in soup. Women who have ovarian cysts, who have PCOS, who have uterine fibroids, who have excessive amount of estrogen in the body that can steal your receptors causing you to have breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer. This herb, you can use it in a couple of ways. You can put it in your soup and have your soup. But you can also use it as a tea with these guys here together. You know what he does? He increases uterine circulation in the woman's reproductive system. But he also helps your liver to excrete excessive amount of estrogen that is causing you woman to get breast cancer long term. This herb shrinks ovarian cysts, shrink uterine fibroids. Shrink them. 
But as I said, it moves things. So when you have period pain or what you call dysmenorrhea, and you use this plant together with some other circulatory plants, your period pain disappears because it moves the blood. And you don't have what we call blood stasis. So the blood don't become thick and cause you to have pain. Because anything that, anything that can't move will give you pain. Anything that moves can give you pain. It's common sense. It's facts. So all these together, it's going to be put together for you women to use for your program to avoid these growths and to avoid cancer in any part of your reproductive system, even the thyroid gland too. You understand? If you are living next to a herb shop in any one of the states you are in, you can go to the herb shop and you can get these herbs. We're going to mark them down for you and put the program together with Nikki Lane. I hope she's watching. All right? And we're going to put this up together for you for the program and you will feel so good. You will need to go by no gynecologist no more. Because your period will come every month. You will never get endometriosis, man. You are getting these conditions because you, woman, is estrogen dominant. You are producing too much estrogen. Because everything out there in our environment is all messed up. Soy messed up. Women should never use soy. Never. Unless it's tempe or misco. They want, Don't use... They want to know the name of the herbs, then. So, Dankui. Dankui is one of the best herbs for the woman's reproductive system. It moves the blood. It is also good for congestive heart failure. Not only for women. It helps your liver to remove excessive amount of estrogen so that you don't have it flowing back into the system to cause it to steal your combination lock. So you remove the excessive amount of estrogen via your bowels. Right here. You must move it up from here. If you don't move the estrogen from here, have to come out here. Once you have a bowel movement, woman, you have to remove estrogen. Estrogen comes out here. That way it comes out. But if you have having stagnation of the blood, and if you have having stagnation of your liver, your bowels and you're constipated, it's just common sense, woman, that your system is going to retain these estrogen and come back into the portal vessel. And you're going to have trouble with estrogen dominance. So, this guy, Shrink your fibroids, shrink your variances, we help your liver to remove the excessive amount of estrogen because you remember that you have your estrone have to be turned into what? Women are supposed to know that. Your estrone, which is a dangerous estrogen, supposed to be what converted by your liver into what woman? Into estriol which is the least effective estrogen that don't harm you. But if your liver is not manufacturing, and if your liver is not breaking down estrone into estriol, you must become a cancer candidate. You have to learn these things, woman. You understand? So, her. Chest tree. Mark it down for me. C H A S T E T R W E. Chaste tree. This is for the woman's pituitary gland. Your pituitary gland controls your thyroid gland. Your pituitary gland in the brain controls your pancreas. Your pituitary gland in your brain controls your adrenals of your kidney. Your pituitary gland, huh? It controls your water balance of the kidney. Your pituitary gland also controls the man's reproductive system. Your pituitary gland also works on keeping the liver healthy. The pituitary gland does. So you have to work on the pituitary because you can get a tumor in the pituitary which can cause you to have lots of headache too because it isn't working properly. So this is what called chase tree. It normalizes both a woman's LH and FSH and in turn, once a woman's LH and FSH is normalized, a woman's reproductive system becomes normalized because now she's, she's normalizing both estrogen and progesterone and have them in balance. Balance, we call it. Alright, next one. Red raspberry leaves. 
This is called an alternative plant. It not only works on the woman's reproductive system, but it also works on the woman's liver and also the woman's blood. It's called an alternative plant. So it helps to keep the whole body healthy. But it also goes into the woman's reproductive system and tonifies the woman's uterus and tonifies and strengthens the woman's uterus. So even though you're pregnant, you cannot have a miscarriage. It prevents miscarriages. So once you become pregnant woman, you must use this plant all through your pregnancy and you will have a good delivery without no pain because it strengthens and tonifies your uterus. You see, so women should have this helping home. Don't forget, first one, red raspberry leaves. Second one, yarrow, stops bleeding. Don't forget we said before, if you're in the school, with me, in my classes, I said you have astringent plants. This is an astringent plant. It is also called a diaporetic, meaning it makes you sweat too. But it also stops bleeding. It's also good for hyperpressure. It's also good to soothe the tissues of the uterus. Don't forget, yarrow, Y-A-R-R-O-W. Next one is called Shepherd's Purse. Shepherd's Purse is very significant. The whole herbal should use this plant in uterine fibers to treat it. But if there is excessive amount of bleeding by the uterus or the nose or the rectum, stops it right away. Mix with these other plants here. See? And don't forget, Danqui, D A N G Q U I. Move the blood. Move it, put it in your soup. Put it in your soup. And have it as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, 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 like a tonic to the woman's reproductive system. You have to learn them things. Otherwise, you're going to be at the statistics in America in the system giving you all your cancer every day. Or you're dying from it. You know what I mean? Or you're taking all your uterus. Why? You're only eating right. And the plants. Cinnamon. You must use it. Have it in your house on a regular basis. Because with cinnamon, cinnamon helps to deal with the small capillaries. And it also helps with peripheral circulation. So once a woman has troubles in the uterus, and she has stagnation of the blood, or she has period pain, or she has endometriosis, she must use cinnamon. Because endometriosis scars give you scarring when your blood moves from the uterus and goes to the pelvic cavity and cause these blood to, these things to form, these little bubbles to form. And scar your intestines, cause you to be constipated. You see what I'm saying? Give you pain. So you must move the blood. Common sense. So you must use cinnamon and you must use ginger. This is the boss right here. Him. Ginger oil. Anti inflammatory too. See what I'm saying? But because we will not talk, we know how. So we're going to teach you how. These are the plants you got to use. Right? And on that, we're going to go to all these things. Sea moss. See him? That's my sea moss right there. That's what I, 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 I eat it like that. Or you mix it with some coconut water. See? Coconut water mixed with sea moss and some glycium fruit mixed with the coconut. Huh? You don't need to. You don't get cancer that way. You know, all this here, the rainbow there, all this over here. Huh? Tumor activity, anti tumor activity. You can't get cancer. You can't. Because this is the food that God put on earth for us to use. That's, that is what he gave us in the beginning. So we, go back. we have to go back to the garden. We have to go back to the garden to eat the foods that was given to us by our creator that prevents these diseases. See what I'm saying? I mean, but what's me? They use a the lipstick. Or your lipstick in. Or you do every day you're going to go outside. Are you sucking it in? Now ah, you have cancer. You just, you just found out you have breast cancer. You took the chemotherapy, you took the radiation, took your breast off. Huh? And you come, you can you know better. You're going back to your cleaning products. You inhale in all your cleaning products that have chemicals. See? Damaging your DNA, creating free radicals. You take your lipstick and you're putting it on your and you're kissing it back too and putting it back into your system. You are taking all your all your eyelashes and your eyelash chemicals again too. You go to the, to the hairdresser and you're putting all these chemicals in your hair. All these dyes. So how are you going to fix cancer? Can't. Because once you have it, you have to go on a clean diet. You can't go back into the environment that gave you the cancer in the first place. You're going to come back. See? So once you go back, 
into the environment using the same lipsticks, using the same eyelashes, using all the dyes in your hair, using the same cleaning products, Mr. Clean and, and all these bagon and stuff, you can't almost come back because you are putting back the same exact chemicals back into your system that caused you to have the cancer by creating free radicals to damage your DNA. See? And then he, can, he said to you, get some more chemotherapy. And he says to you, well, no, you have triple negative breast cancer. We're even more worse now because no, it's like more aggressive now. And when he can't fix you like the lady who died, he says to you, well, you know, we, we take all your money for insurance now, so we can't fix you no more. I want you to go and put you in hospice. And you all know what hospice is. Hospice is telling you you're going to die eventually. Make your mind up. Go to your father, go to your mother, go to your sister, go to your husband, go to your wife, your children, sit there, listen, I'm going to the hospital, I'm going to die. You understand? That's what he tells you. After he tells you now that you have no option no more because he can only treat you, he can't cure you. But you are the cure. See? If you go on programs and help the body to heal itself and prevent this condition. So if you follow these programs that we're going to have, you're going to do them programs every three to six months. Don't let nothing pile up in your body. Nothing. As soon as you finish your program, two or three months, eat the food, you go back again, and you go and clean again. You never let anything come back and pile up in your body again. Because once they come back, they're going to cause havoc in your organ system. They're going to cause havoc in the blood. They're going to cause havoc, havoc in the reproductive system. They're going to cause havoc in your breasts and the endocrine glands. And then you are at the mercy of the people that you seem to believe in on a regular basis, telling you there's no cure. And then you die because they put you in hospice. They did. See? So this program will be up. You're going to have the program up. You're going to tell you what you have to use. It's mostly foods and some herbs. But mostly everything is your foods. We're going to put them together for you so you can alkaline your blood. You can build back up the reproductive system, the endocrine glands, the, the thyroid gland. You don't lose it. We're going to build back up or normalize the function of the uterus. You don't have no growths. You, become, you, you will become fertile, have children. If you follow my programs, and then after two or three months again, you go back again and you do the same program again. Don't let them pile back up in your body. Okay? Wonderful. Antioxidants. All right, over here. All right, we're almost done now. We live, in, we, live in, we live in New York again. We live in New York on Sunday. We go to ourselves and strength. I want to thank um um yeah brother, come over here. We want to thank Tilly uh, Tilly Lewis, my sister, who donated all these prodigy um uh, diabetic uh, machines to my people in Grenada. We have a big box over here again. You know what I'm saying? We want to thank her very much for donating because we're going to give it to our people who can't afford it. We have to see about the poor. We have to see about the people who are in need. We have to put our hands out and touch our brother and pick him up if we can. You know what I'm saying? So we are thankful for our sister, Ms. Lewis, to Lewis, for um, uh, providing these um, machines for our people. We have blood pressure machines. We have a set of clothes for the poor. We have a lot of slippers. So when we go to Grenada next week, we're going to be going to the parishes and giving out machines to all people who's poor and can't afford to buy a strip or to buy a machine. And then we would be, me personally, we would be supplying the strips to the, to the poor who can't afford strips on a regular basis. So you won't have to buy those strips at all. As long as I'm living and God give me health and strength, I'm going to make sure that everybody who has a machine will have strips forever. Blessed love. Give thanks and praise to the most high. Right? See our product line right here? See we have our product line right now? Dig it. You got to help the poor, man. So we have all the products here. We have all the, the endocrine and nerve blend. We have on the formulas. We have the, the liver formula. We have the heart formula. We have the woman's balance formula. We have everything. This is what you call Patrick Dell's natural healing of the body line. That's what it is. Blessed love to everybody. And don't forget to give thanks and praise to the Most High Jehovah God. And don't forget, never look down on no one unless you're going to pick him up. Pick him or her up. Don't forget that. Because any one of us could fall on the ground and need some help. Don't forget now. We, we, I, I see a lot of people who've been rich, millionaires, become poor. Eh, Esmaeli? Uh -huh. Look at them. Uh -huh. I see lots of millionaires who had 50 cars and big houses. 
and it's, it can pour. And some of them even being janitors now. So don't look down on no one unless you're going to put a hand to pick them up. Don't forget that. Because any one of us could be anywhere down in that gutter. And we would expect someone else to help us. So that's the reason why I said, I ain't no rich man. Yeah, I live a humble, I live a very simple life. But my obligation in life is to help people if once I can. But I can't help anybody unless I can't <coughs> make some money to help people. You know what I mean? So we have to support one another. And in that turn, we would be able to help each other to uplift ourselves. All right, don't forget. Um, we want to talk about the, uh, the products we have. Some people are, are, are making orders and they're not leaving their Address. addresses. You have to leave your address. And they want to complain to, to, to PayPal. I'm saying it again. When you go to Christy Books, K R I S T Y B W K O dot biz, you have to leave an address. And the products will be sent to you. That's why you're not still in New York because I want to make sure that everybody gets the, I mean, I mean the packages. We never would, we have over five more packages to send out now, and that's it. I'm gone. But in order for us to be more efficient, you must leave your address because we have some people complaining about, oh, I don't get my product yet, and blah, blah, blah. But you know, remember that we are a small business. We just started and we're just learning. So be patient with us, you know? We're just learning the process. We're not like Amazon, who's big people. It means millionaires. We are very you know, independent people that we're just trying and we're learning in the process. And as we learn, we, as we grow, we learn. So bear with us and be patient, you know what I'm saying? Because at, at the end of the day, it's only my bridge here to go to the post office and post everything. We don't have that, we don't have that luxury yet, you know what I mean? Because we just started. But as, as we start and we grow, we want to expand and help other people who is in need, especially my black people. You understand? I look at the help, go to them first. I could go to anybody else after. But I go to the house of the Israelites first. And after the Israelites, then I could go to anybody else. That's how I see life. You know what I mean? Who vex, vex, who don't like me, that's all right. It's, we are one race, one human race, but at the end of the day, we have our people to see about at the same time, okay? I love my people and please, Love your love your yourself. Bless and love. Inside. Give thanks and praise and see in Grenada on Monday. Set up the love button. Hit the love button. Yes, Grenada, you'll be coming home on Monday. Yes, I. Press that love button. Start the new way. Back to you then. We love you all, man. I love you. Tell them everybody that go on the one program get the copy. Huh? Everybody that go on the one program get the copy. And don't forget that anybody, everybody's going on the program, woman, is going to have a CD free of charge. You know what I mean? Oh, so you're going to and listen to the CDs and love up your old man, love up your king and the queen. So everybody's going on the program going to have a free CD, it's free, and also with a T-shirt. Blessed love. Don't forget, go to Christy Books, K R I S T Y B W K S dot biz, and look for the program there. It's going to be up in a couple of days. Blessed love. Ambrosia 718 for Shanti. Blessed. This side. Okay, don't forget that. K R I S T Y B W K S dot B I Z or six three one five three zero two three two nine. Bless it.